my brothers and sisters, we gather for worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. As we prepare to celebrate the presence of Christ in word and sacrament, let us first call to mind our sin, and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against Thee and against our neighbour, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve thee in newness of life, to the glory of thy name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In silence we pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we beseech you to direct, sanctify and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of your laws and the works of your commandments, that through your most mighty protection both here and now we may be preserved in body and soul through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Jeremiah. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Write in a book all the words that I have spoken to you, for thus says the Lord, Your hurt is incurable, your wound is grievous. There is no one to uphold your cause, no medicine for your wound, no healing for you. All your lovers have forgotten you, they are nothing to you. For I have dealt you the blow of an enemy, the punishment of a merciless foe, because your guilt is great, because your sins are so numerous. Why do you cry out over your hurt? Your pain is incurable. Because your guilt is great, because your sins are so numerous, I have done these things to you. Thus says the Lord, I am going to restore the fortunes of the tents of Jacob, and have compassion on his dwellings. The city shall be rebuilt upon its ground, and the citadel set on its rightful site. Out of them shall come thanksgiving, and the sound of merrymakers. I will make them many, and they shall not be few. I will make them honoured, and they shall not be disdained. Their children shall be as of old. Their congregation shall be established before me and I will punish all who oppress them. Their prince shall be one of their own, their ruler shall come from their midst. I will bring him near, and he shall approach me. For who would otherwise dare to approach me, says the Lord. And you shall be my people, and I will be your God. For the word of the Lord 
Thanks be to God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Immediately Jesus had fed the crowd, he made the disciples get into the boat, and go on ahead to the other side, while he dismissed the crowd. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but by this time the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning he came walking towards them on the lake. But when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and, beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. When they had crossed over, they came to the land at Gennesaret. After the people of that place recognised him, they sent word throughout the region, and brought all who were sick to him, and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all who touched it were healed. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. So, in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Father, we pray for your Church throughout the world. Give thanks for the life and vitality of the Anglican Communion. We pray for our own parish, for God's continuing blessing on all that we do to build up his kingdom in this place. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for your world. We give thanks for the beauty of all that you give us in creation and pray that we may be wise and faithful stewards of it. We pray for all who work with the homeless, with refugees and asylum seekers, with those who suffer from hunger. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the communities in which we are sent, giving thanks for our life together here in Karshalt. We pray your blessing upon all who minister to us, all those to whom we are a blessing. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we remember those who reach out to your Son, that they may be healed. We 
We pray for those who are in need of healing at this time. For those who live in fear of coronavirus and COVID-19. For those living with life-changing or life-threatening conditions. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we remember all those who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and all whose faith is known to you alone. For those who have died in recent days, those who will die this day, and all whose anniversary falls at about this time. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. So we come before you now in a moment of quiet and make our own personal prayer. We gather of these and all of our prayers in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. Merciful Father, accept these prayers. For the sake of thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We are all one in Christ Jesus. We belong to him through faith, heirs of the promise of the Spirit of peace. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you and with thy Spirit. Blessed art thou, Lord God of all creation, through thy goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed art thou, Lord God of all creation, through thy goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you with saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the high. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine out poor may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, 
He had supper with his friends and taken bread. He praised it. He broke the bread, gave it to them and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes, and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with blessed Mary and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven, through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, for we all share in one body. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God, who taketh away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his Son. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Strengthen for service, Lord, the hands that have taken holy things. May the ears which have heard your word be deaf to clamour and dispute. May the tongues which have offered you praise be free from deceit. May the eyes which have seen the tokens of your love shine with the light of hope. And may the bodies which have been fed with your body be refreshed with the fullness of your life. Glory to you for ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you, and remain with you always. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.